Hi, welcome back to Yoga with the Guru of channel and this is day 17 of your yoga challenge. So today we are focusing on, on a hip opening. Uh, these poses, uh, the poses, yoga asanas that we are going to do uh, to help you improve the hip mobility. So let's get started. Okay, so take two blocks. We start from Supta Baddha Konasana and we use support for this pose. So I will show you. Well, this is position we call Baddha Konasana. So my feet together and I go down. So if you have a stiff hip joints, so better use support under your outer ties. It helps to release the inner groins and inner ties and creates freedom in your hip joints. So I use two blocks and support my outer ties. So I adjust the blocks so I release my knees down and use support. So I extend my arms down so keep my chest open and adjust the pressure of my heels evenly. So let's do, lie down with back, take two blocks and support your outer thighs. So one minute, we stay in this position, relax your shoulders, extend your arms, open your chest and soften your inner thighs and your groins. Soften your abdomen. With each exhalation, relax your inner groins, inner thighs. So after a few seconds, you can move your blocks slightly away from each other and release your legs more. Relax your legs, relax your lower abdomen, hip joints. Relax your face, relax your throat. So the last few seconds, let go deeply, your hip joints, inner thighs, inner groins. Now use your hands, press your hands to the outer thighs and lift your knees. Press the heels to the floor, stay there a few seconds. So remove the blocks. And Turn to the right side and slowly sit up. Very good. Now, Adho Mukha Virasana. Kneel down. So let's do it together. And sit on the heels and spread your knees apart. So the hip width apart. So press the buttocks through the heels and bend forward. Don't lift your buttocks. It's very important for hip joints. So extend your arms. So extend the sides of the trunk and relax your head. So use your block, use the block under your head and relax your head, relax your neck, but press the buttocks to the heels and relax your hip joints again. Relax your inner groins and release the... So release your inner thighs from the inner groins towards the inner knees. So try to bring a feeling of relaxation and extension your inner thighs. Stay in this pose for few seconds. You can press your hands and press the buttocks more. Arms straight, don't bend your elbows. Don't drop your elbows, leave the elbows away from the floor. Okay, now we have come up. Very good. Release your legs. So stretch your legs forward. And press your heels, lift your spine, Dandasan. Road pose or staff pose. Very good. Next pose. Adamukha Swastikansan. So the forward bend with the cross legs. So cross your legs. So cross your legs and uh, the, shin, the shin level. 
and relax your inner thighs and groins. Use your support under your buttocks. Lift your spine. Use the second block under your head. And now, again, press the buttock bones to the block and go forward. Use support under your head and extend your arms. And again, feel your hip joints, the inner thighs and groins, and relax deeply your inner thighs and groins. Press your buttocks. Don't slide from the block, so be on the block. Okay, inhale, come up. If you feel that it's very difficult to go and touch the one block, you can use the chair and place the head on the chair. Change the cross of your legs. Press the buttocks, body bones, and bend forward. Extend your arms. Take your head on the block and relax deeply, let go completely, your hip joints, your lower back, and extend your arms. Relax your head, relax your neck. Okay, very good. Now you have to come up. Okay. Once again, stretch your legs, release your knees, release the joints of your legs, keep your back erect. Okay, now stand up. Stand up. And next pose, Udhiru Tekanasana, the triangle pose. From Tadasana, spread your feet wide apart, press the outer edges of your feet to the floor, lift your chest, lift your spine, and now turn left foot in, right foot out. Keep your right heel and left arch in line. So extend your toes and spread your toes. It's very important for also the hip joints. So there is strong connection between extension of your toes and creation of the, the space in your hip joints. So now, Stretch your arms to the sides. Keep your legs straight, inhale. With exhalation, go to right side. Bend over and keep, keep your right side of the trunk over the right leg. Lift the kneecaps and turn your front ribs towards the ceiling. Turn your head, look upward. Inhale, come up. Stretch your arms, turn your feet to the center. Lift your chest, lift your spine now, turn right foot in, left foot out. Now press your heels, lift the kneecaps, lift your spine, but drop your shoulders. Now inhale with exhalation, go to the left side. Catch your left ankle, roll your shoulders, extend the sides of the trunk, lift the kneecaps. Now turn your head, look upward. Inhale, come up. Now keep your feet parallel, bring your hands on the hips and go to the center, Tadasana. So absorb the action of your inner, inner part of your legs. Relax your shoulders, be quiet, take two, three normal breath. Very good. So the next pose preparation for Parikasana. But we are focusing on extension of the inner thigh. Okay? So adjust your uh, right heel and left knee. Press the right heel evenly, inner part of the heel, outer part, and extend the inner part of your thigh. Lift your chest. Now press your hand, your palm, to the inner knee or inner sheen and press your right hand slightly to the inner knee and move your right knee slightly back. But don't force and don't move your pelvis forward. Resist your left front thigh, move your left front thigh back and press your right hand. And lift your chest, lift your spine, but drop your shoulders. And feel the extension of the inner thigh and inner groin. Don't hold your breath. 
few seconds, stay in this position. Okay, release. Now change the legs. Keep your left heel and right arch. Left heel and right knee, sorry. Uh, in line and press the left hand to the knee and lift your chest, lift your spine. But resist, resist your right thigh. Lift your chest, be stable. Don't hold your breath. Move your shoulder blades deep in. Okay, release. Very good. Now sit on the heels, relax a little bit. Okay, now stand up. Now we are going to do a variation of uh, rikshasan, three pose. But we use the wall, so touch the wall. I will show this variation. So when I hold the ankle, I press my foot uh, to the inner thigh. I touch the wall and as I stand in this pose, I still hold the ankle and I extend the sides of the trunk, but in the same time, like in previous pose, I extend the inner part of my thigh. But again, I resist this, the front thigh. So this variation creates a strong action in the hip area. Okay. So let's do. So if it's difficult for you to reach the ankle, you can use the belt, yoga belt. And take a belt on the ankle. So in this way, for example, you can hold the belt without leaning forward, without tension. Okay, let's start. So touch the wall with your left hand. Press your left foot to the floor and bend your right leg, hold the right ankle and press the bottom of the right foot to the inner left thigh. So lift your chest, lift your spine. So hold the ankle and lift your spine. And as you do this, extend the inner part of your right thigh towards the inner knee. But resist your left front thigh, push the left front thigh back. So don't push the left front thigh forward, push back. Stay, stay there, a few seconds, drop the shoulders. Okay, release the pulse. Now change the side, hold the ball, and bend your left leg. So lift your chest. As you do this, as you extend your inner thigh, don't push your lower back, so drop the buttocks down, especially our left buttock. Extend the inner part of your left leg from the inner groin towards the inner knee. Okay, release the pulse. So absorb the actions in your hip joints. Very good, now we need a block. And we're going to do Utida Parshukanasana variation. So we are focusing on the leg section. So spread the feet, keep your hands on the hips, turn left foot in, right foot out. So keep the distance around the one meter, 20 centimeters between your feet. Lift your chest, don't drop your chest. So lift your chest, but roll your shoulders, lift your chin. Now bend your right leg, from the hip joint and extend the inner part of your right leg, like in previous poses, extend. So don't move, don't shorten your inner thigh. Extend your inner thigh. Now extend your right side of the trunk and place your right hand on the block. So roll your shoulder and extend the sides of the trunk. Keep your left leg straight and extend the inner part more and more. Press the outer edge of the right foot to the floor and lift the arch. So don't drop the arch, lift the arch and extend the inner shin. Feel the action. Don't hold your breath. Now extend your left arm up. Inhale, come on. Inhale, come on. Keep your hands on the waist or hips. 
So change sign. Now turn the left foot in, right foot out. Keep your left heel and right arch in line. Lift your chest, lift your spine. So move your thigh bones into the hip socket. We'll be ready. Now bend your left leg. Resist your right, right foot. Now extend the left side and take your left hand on the block and turn your abdomen. Move your shoulders away from the hips. Extend the sides of the trunk. And again, feel your inner part of your left side. Extend the inner groin towards the inner knee. Leave the arch of the left foot and press the outer edge of the left foot. Be stable. A few seconds. Soften your breath. Now stretch your left arm towards the ceiling. Inhale, come up. Now keep your feet parallel. Bring the hands on the hips and move your feet closer. Roll your shoulders, extend your arms, lift your chest. Be quiet. Okay, very good. Now, Bhadakanasa, sitting position, and you need a belt. So bend your legs, bring the heels closer to the belly floor. Use the support, maybe one block, maybe two blocks. So try to keep your inner knees and hip joints in line. So if you feel that your knee is higher than your hip joints, use the extra support under your buttocks. Now, use the belt and cut your feet. Take a belt on your feet, roll your shoulders, and create challenge between your hands and feet. So try to lift your feet away from the floor, but in the same time, press the outer edges of your feet to the floor. As you do this action, this challenge, release your inner thighs from the inner groins towards the inner knees. And keep your spine stable, keep your back erect. So a few seconds, again, press your heels evenly. Soften your breath, drop your shoulders. Feel the action in your hip joints, and inner groins, inner thighs. Okay, release. Again, lift the knees, use your hands, and release your legs. So, next, then for the next pose, we need a wall, and I will show you. This is a variation of Prasarita Padatanasa. So, legs up to the wall, but we go to Upavishta Kanasa and Barikanasa, these variations. So, I go closer to the wall. I take my shoulder on the wall and then I move my legs up, up to the wall. So after uh, stay in this pose a few seconds, so spread your feet wide apart, but look at my feet. So don't turn your feet out and feel the, uh, look at my front part of my legs. So roll, my, roll the front eyes in and spread your feet apart more. So try to keep your feet in line. So don't drop one foot more. So maybe you feel that one hip joint. So have more space. So now extend your uh, arms to the sides. So press your heels, push the front eyes towards the wall. Soften your abdomen, relax your throat, relax your face, extend the back part of your legs. So if you feel that this position, it's uh, very intense for you, so bring the feet closer. Don't overstretch. Okay, then move your front eyes towards the wall. You can press your hands to the front eyes and push, push the front eyes towards the wall. Okay, very good. Now, catch the inner thighs and bend your knees and bring the feet closer and press your heels to each other and relax your 
in a groin signal ties. Again, Barakanasan and U Dva Prasarit Padasa. So bounded angle pulse. Press your heels even there. Few seconds stay in this position. Relax your abdomen. Soften your breath. Now hold the knees and bring the knees closer and turn to the right side and slowly sit up. So let's do uh, Shavasana. So bend your legs and slowly go on your back, adjust your body properly. Turn your palms towards the ceiling, drop your shoulders, and close your eyes. Now observe the hip area and your inner legs, state of the inner part of your legs and state of your hip joints. And relax deeply your hip joints, relax deeply the inner part of your legs, inner groins, inner thighs, relax your inner knees, inner shins, inner ankles, lengthen in the inner legs and relax the inner part of your legs more and more. As you relax your inner part of your legs and hip joints, relax your lower abdomen, soften the lower abdomen and inner organs of the lower abdomen. Relax completely your legs, relax completely your hips. Relax your buttocks, buttock bones. Relax completely your abdomen, lower abdomen, upper abdomen. Relax your navel. Relax your diaphragm. Solar plexus. Relax completely your back, lower back, middle back, upper back. Relax your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Relax your shoulders, your upper arms, your wrists, your hands. Relax your throat, relax your face. Oh, drop completely your whole body from outside, from inside. Keep your mind quiet and stay in this pause few seconds more. Now, gradually, you will come out from this pause, bend your legs one by one. Bend your arms, take your hands on your lower abdomen. Then turn to the right side. Stay comfortable on the right side. Let the eyes open. Press your left hand to the floor. Slowly sit up, look downward. Cross your legs and sit quiet. Thank you. Enough for this session. Um, if you uh, have questions, leave the comment below. Share this video with your friends and share this challenge with your friends. Hit the like button if you like this video. I wish you a great day. See you tomorrow.